Hey insiders, this is your weekly news flash. All of the news from behind the scenes at YouTube, from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. Now, this is going to be our last news flash of the year. That means that we're not going to have a news flash the week of December 28th. And as a special treat, we're bringing back a surprise guest who will be appearing at the end of this news flash. So stick around if you want to see who that is. Our first update this week is around a launch, the launch of something called Civility Reminders. Now, what this is, is reminders that are going to pop up on Android within the US if it looks like a comment you're about to make is potentially offensive. Now, the commenter can still post as is, or they can take a couple of extra moments to consider and re-edit if they so wish. This is something that we hope improves the ecosystem that is YouTube. Let us know if you have any feedback through the comments below or through the send feedback link. Next up, we have Anthony from the Unlisted Video Review team, and he's gonna give you a couple of key attributes for your title and thumbnail that could impact video recommendation to new viewers. Take it away, Anthony. Hey, I'm Anthony. I'm excited to share some insights from our team that can benefit all creators. Before I dive into those insights, I do want to give you a heads up. You're going to see me touching my screen throughout this video. And that is because I want to make sure that all eight key attributes, aka insights, that I'm providing is really being thoroughly discussed and I can really make sure I'm going over all of those areas. So there are eight key attributes that could actually impact your video recommendation to new viewers. So the first will be deceiving or misleading. Does your title or thumbnail misrepresent the content of the video? An example here might be if you're doing a product review, but the title itself is election results, and this has nothing to do with the video, that would be considered deceiving or misleading. Number two is shocking. This includes offensive or outrageous language or imagery. In this instance, Picture the displaying of a dead animal or showcasing an animal attacking a child. Number three, disgusting. This contains gross or repulsive imagery. This here might be the depiction of the insides of a dead animal being displayed as a thumbnail. Number four, violence. This here will be unnecessarily promote violence or abuse. And this will be called out in either the title or the thumbnail itself. Whether it promotes it or supports it, that will be considered violence and it will run into an issue. Number five, indecent. This implies sexually suggestive or lewd conduct. In this instance, this could be the showcasing of a sex act or nudity in the thumbnail itself, or even describing a sex act in the title. Number six, is using all caps or overemphasizing in the title. Um, this here, keep in mind though, might not be a problem if it's a, you know, a non-abbreviation. So if you're using words like ASAP or BYOB, that would be generally okay. Number seven is dangerous. This here is the depictions of activities, including pranks or challenges that put participants in harm's way are not always suitable for wide audiences, especially if those activities are glorified or can be easily replicated by viewers. Number eight is profanity. Generally speaking, sporadic use of profanity in a video wouldn't make a video unsuitable for monetization. However, usage of profanity in titles and thumbnails beyond mild ones such as the word crap could limit monetization or performance of your video. So those are the eight key attributes I wanted to go over today and provide some additional insights around. Thank you for your time and catch you next time. Have a great day. Thanks, Anthony. Okay, now we have our special surprise guest. I'm gonna let him finish out the news flash this week. From me and everybody else who runs this channel, I just want to wish you a really happy holiday season and a great New Year's Eve. See you in 2021. Hello, insiders. For those of you who started your YouTube channel in the last four months, you could just end this video now because you probably don't care who I am. 
But uh, for those of you who uh, who are familiar with me, I'm Tom. I'm back in this end of year message uh, because someone in the comments in a previous video uh, said, "Hey, can we have a cameo from Tom?" And a bunch of you liked that comment, so. Lauren from the Creator Insider team reached out and said, Hey, Tom, would you like to, uh, to, to shoot something for a future newsflash? And I said, Hell yeah! I, I want to get back in the saddle, at least for this, for this uh, end of year message. So happy holidays. Happy New Year. I know 2020 has been kind of nuts. Uh, some people were asking, like, Oh, well, what happened to Tom? So uh, I moved from Zurich, where I was working on... YouTube creator stuff. Uh, by the way, Classic Studio, ugh, gone. No more Classic Studio. That was basically my job, as you probably have, <laughs> as you probably noticed from the previous four years of news flashes. Um, if I move from Zurich to back to the states, I now live uh, in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm still at Google. Uh, but now, instead of YouTube, I work on uh, Google Health, and um, but I'm still a very heavy YouTube viewer, and I do use uh, Creator Studio all the time uh, for my personal YouTube channel. Um, so just wanted to say hello, let you know that uh, I'm thinking about you creators all the time. I miss our weekly updates. Um, but, you know, studio keeps getting better. Um, I've been a big fan of the uh, live control room integration in the uh, studio. I was about to say in the new studio, but it's just studio now. Uh, and uh, also been using the mobile app a lot lately. They've been making some big improvements to that studio mobile app. So uh, I hope you've been enjoying it. I know I have. Um, with that, I, I feel like we should do, should we? Should we do it? Should we do a movie quote? <laughs> All right. I, you know, if you guess it, if you guess this movie, put it in the comments. The first one to get it right, I'm not sure what they're going to do because I don't work on the channel anymore. Hopefully, they'll give you a shout out. But here is the quote. Uh, and this is not clear and present danger. So for the old school uh, Creator Insider subscribers. It's not clear and present danger. It's actually quite a recent movie. And here's the quote. Like in the books where you know the outcome, but you play it out just to see how it would happen. Like in the books where you know the outcome, but you play it out just to see how it would happen. And uh, a visual cue for this movie. <laughs> Because it's Friday and I'm in a good mood, I'm going to give you a visual cue. Cue. There we go. There you go. That's it. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Stay safe out there. And uh, hopefully 2021 is an exciting, healthy, prosperous year for everybody. And in the meantime, keep it real. <laughs>